Welcome to the instructional video of Ultimate Portfolio Tracker and Trading Journal, a Notion template. Let's start without wasting any time. At the top of the page, you'll notice an inspirational quote. This space is reserved for you to sad your own favorite quote, a personal touchstone of wisdom. It's a simple yet effective way to stay motivated and aligned with what truly matters to you. In the top left corner, you'll find our time widget, this dynamic feature automatically adjusting to your location. Whether you're traveling or at home, it ensures you always have accurate localized timekeeping at a glance. Below the time widget, you'll find a quick link area for your favorite trading websites. It's simple to use. Just paste a copied link and choose Paste as Mention. Want to customize? Type a name for your link, highlight the text, paste your link directly to the text, and you're done. You can even make links bold for emphasis. It's a flexible, efficient way to keep your go-to sites at your fingertips. Let's look at the Reminder section below and create an example together or modify the existing one. After creating it, first, give it a name. Let's name it as CPI and then tag it as an announcement. Then select the date and if you want, you can include the time for the CPI release. If you want a heads up, you can set a reminder for, say, 15 minutes before the event. If you want to cancel, simply click on the date and click on the Remind option and select None. As you notice, we have extra properties here. For each event, you have the option to add your own analysis, expectations, and additional notes. This Personal Insights section allows you to note key points to watch for. You have the freedom to create your own page layout templates, tailoring the interface to your specific needs and preferences. Click onto that icon and create your own templates. At the bottom of the page, you'll find two practical sections designed for quick organization, a note and a to-do section. Moving up, we come to the heart of the template, the core sections. Let's focus on our first toggle, labeled Open Positions. When you activate this toggle, you'll unveil four distinct database tabs. Let's start with the first section, Day and Scalp, which is designed to provide a quick overview of your daily open positions. Clicking on one will open that particular trades page, displaying detailed information about that specific trade, allowing you to quickly review it. As you can see, its exit details are empty, indicating that the trade is still active. You can enhance your entries by including details about entry and exit sides and adding personal reviews. Additionally, use the button to timestamp the current time of your note. This feature allows you to track the development of your thought process. For now, let's leave it at this so we don't spoil the surprise. We'll be examining this section in detail when the time comes. So, as you can see, we currently have two open positions listed in the Day and Scalp section. So the template includes other sections as well, such as the Swing section. However, since we currently don't have any open swing positions, we can't display them. We'll see them in the upcoming video. Let's move on to the next one, Position Trading. Similar to the others, here you can track your open positions in the Position Trading section. Here, we have two open position groups. I'll explain what I mean by position groups when we discuss position trading. However, basically, it's designed to group partial entries for a specific item. Here you can see we have four different transactions for the group TRU1. This feature is primarily used for position management purposes, enabling traders to track the sizes of each transaction and the group separately. The first transaction group contains two buy orders, 4,000 and 5,000 shares, and two sell orders, 4,000 and 3,000 shares. The net position for this group is 2,000 shares long. 
The dashboard calculates the market value of the 2,000 share net position using the current market price. Each tab represents a unique dashboard within the template, carefully designed to give you a quick overview of your current activities. This smart layout eliminates the need to navigate between multiple pages, saving you valuable time. Here, in the portfolio toggle, you can view our current holdings for position trading, along with detailed cards that provide specific information about each holding. This centralized view keeps you informed and enables swift decision-making based on up-to-date information. It includes market value, remaining percentage of shares, average purchase price, and current price, which is automated through external apps at no cost, and the percentage increase in price so far. You can find an instructional video on how to integrate and automate live price feeds into the template on the instructions page. So, these metrics show the current value of the items. If you're wondering about the realized and unrealized profit on current position groups that haven't been fully closed yet, as you may remember, we still have 2,000 share left on that TRU group. You can view those details here. Here is our 2,000 shares, and the percentage shows how much of that position remains. Based on the current price, you can see the unrealized profit remaining from here. Additionally, Based on your account tagging when logging transactions, you can check which shares are allocated to each account. It also dynamically displays the current market value of holdings in each account. Before I forget, let me mention we have a top navigation bar right here. You will find it in all pages at the same time. It will allow you to move easily between pages. And at the bottom of the home page, you will find calendars of all sections separately. First, there's a daily overview calendar showing the daily totals of your trades in the daily and scalp section. These are all pages within this section that we will examine in detail in the upcoming videos. The daily overview calendar provides traders with a consolidated view of their daily trades, facilitating better tracking of performance trends identification of total trades number, and P&L result in each day. So, in a calendar view, can we see each of those trades separately? Yes, we can. Here in the Daily Trades tab, you can view each trade individually, along with its details in a concise card format. These tabs not only provide traders with a comprehensive bird's-eye view of their trading activities, but also allow them to add trades directly from the calendar view, eliminating the need to navigate to separate pages. In addition to those three separate trading journals, we also have an NFT tracker and a daily routine section. Each serves a different aspect of the trading journey. And finally, the reminder calendar that we saw earlier. As I mentioned, you can use these calendars for entries. If you have any questions, please check the FAQ section before asking. Your question may have already been answered. Of course, you can also reach me through the contact section in any case. Lastly, you should avoid making any changes or deletions in the back end, as all the original data is stored here. I guess I should have mentioned this at the beginning, but better late than never. Here, you can see all the pages. The template is roughly divided into three main sections. We are currently on the main page called Trading Journal. The first main section consists of position and swing trading parts, which include trade and analytics pages and extra three pages. The second main section is entirely dedicated to daily trading and is the most detailed section of the template. And the final section is the Finance Tracker section, which is linked to all the other areas 
and pulls data from them. It has sub-pages dedicated to specific goals. Don't forget the Instructions page, where you can find written versions of all the video instructions. And don't forget our Q&A template, where you can check the FAQs and see upcoming updates. Well, that's all for the introduction. We'll see you in the upcoming videos.